Scarlett Moffat is the hot favorite to step into fellow G or Aunt McPartland's shoes to front I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. Alongside Declan Donnelly, the former Gogglebox star already hosts spin-off series Extra Can't Live from the Aussie Jungle, so appears to have a shoe-in for her 42-year-old pal's position, after he announced he was abandoning all screen duties until 2019. Troubled Ant, who returned to rehab in March, told on Thursday how his treatment for addiction to booze and prescription drugs was progressing well yet he felt more comfortable taking the rest of 2018 off. His decision to seek professional help came amid the breakdown of his marriage and a conviction for drink driving after his Mini collided with another vehicle in West London, resulting in a driving ban and £86,000 fine. Ant fronts a host of ITV's most popular programs including Britain's Got Talent, Saturday Night Takeaway and I'm a Celebrity. His news resulted in bosses at ITV scrapping the 2019 series of SMT, planned for next year as some segments would be required to be filmed in the next six months. Meanwhile at BFF presenter Pell Deck confirmed he would continue to front I'm a Celebrity, which starts this winter, in Australia, with his replacement unknown. Scarlett, who has a close relationship with the pair, is in pole position for the prestigious role with bookmakers Patty Power placing it as an almost dead certainty, with odds of 5-6. Meanwhile Quarrel have the brunette at 3-1 narrowly tipped by BGT spin-off host Stephen Mulhern. Both firms have Caroline Flack as a contender while Kat Dealey, Ant and Dex former SMTV Live co-star, is an impressive 5-1 figures for Coral. During his emotional statement, released on Thursday, Ant said, My recovery is going very well and for that to continue having spoken to Deck and ITV, I have made the decision to take the rest of the year off. I'd like to thank both Deck and ITV for their continued support and I look forward to getting back to work in the new year. Deck responded to the news, saying, Whilst I am obviously sad at the thought of being without my best friend in Australia this year, I am proud of the work and has been doing privately and I am fully supportive of his decision. I'm looking forward to us both being reunited on screen in 2019.